Lots of Christians um, know that, that God calls them to work, uh, um, but the question is, in what way? What, what does a spirituality, if you, if you like, of work um, look like? Why might it be significant? Why might it not be significant? How do I do this stuff in the power of the Spirit to the glory of God? And uh, what, what are my resources for that? I think the first thing to recognize is, um, is that, as with every, almost everything about life in Christ, our ideas of it will stem from our picture of who God is and what we think God is up to and what his purposes are in the world. So the question, I suppose, to begin with is, what is God's big purpose in the world? And, and, and in Genesis 1, he puts Adam and Eve on the earth and he says to them, here's a perfect place. Go make it mature. Go release its potential. Go make it better even than it is now. Go discover, reveal its diversity, its potentials, its glory. Go off and make something. So the big project is to continue to create a context for human flourishing, which Eden already is. It's a beautiful place. It's got good food, good, good, good stuff to drink. It looks great. There's purposeful work there. But actually go make it even better in a sense. God releases that to us. And that project remains the same. That is the project that we've been given. And, and you know, when Jesus comes on the cross and dies for us, what does, he, what does it say in Colossians that he comes to do? He dies, um, he who has created all things, for all things were created by him and for him. So he's in charge of all things. Everything created, all matter. People matter. Subatomic quarks, everything, visible and invisible, is, is created by and for Jesus. So he is interested in what we do with matter and how our activities impact matter and people. But it says, he wants to reconcile all things to himself. That is to bring all things, all things, things, the whole cosmos, not just people, back into restored relationship with him. Um, to make it right as it is in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. So daily work is about, in a sense, joining in with God, with his epic purposes, in making the world as much like God would like it to be as we can before he returns. So when I cook a meal for somebody, what am I doing? I am not just making sure that they are physically sustained. I'm, I'm wanting to delight their taste buds. I'm wanting to do it in a way that makes them feel loved and affirmed. When I sweep the street, what am I doing? I am actually removing trash. I'm preventing disease. I'm making the world a more beautiful, a more ordered place, making it more like the place that God would want it to be. When I find a filter that reduces pollution, what am I doing? I'm making the world a better place. When I, I'm a forklift truck driver, you know, taking the pallets off the, off, off the Sainsbury's truck, sticking, I'm sorry if that's an ad for Sainsbury's, off the Tesco truck, off the Asda truck, <laughs> off the Sunnyville truck, off the co-op truck, and I'm putting them on the shelves, <laughs> Morrison's truck, sorry, and putting them in, in, in the warehouse. What am I doing? I'm part of the food chain. I'm part of helping, making sure people are fed. And that is make, contributing to make the world a better place. So one of the things, that's part of what's going on. Um, and, and so it's also part of how we provide for ourselves. So work is an instrument, if you like, that God uses to get things done he wants done. So that's the first thing. And, you know, so if God does want it done well, just the stuff of work, and it can bring glory to him, then is he going to help me? Yes. yes. <laughs>